My life is at risk. Tunubu makes urgent announcement. See what he exposed about his government. Beg protesters. Your life is at risk. <laughs> okay, my people, I greet all of you. They listen to this very broadcast. You're all welcome to today's news. Bola Ahmed Tunubu uh, is just um, mixing it up. Mixing it up. Today, you go back. Tomorrow, you go brag. See, um, I don't just want to talk too much. But the truth of the matter is that Bola Ahmed Tunubu don't deserve to be shown mercy. I'm telling you because don't forget, this is what everyone did when he was coming in. When he was coming in, this is what everyone did. You see that? But now, after coming in, what did he do? He littered everyone aside. So, my dear, if you want to protest, protest. You understand? Don't be brainwashed. I don't talk as a fit talk. Okay, let's quickly just go straight to the content. Let's uh, let's see and let's hear what really and truly is. Uh, is the matter and um, you know what uh, actually is in line to be done let's go straight this is today's news the nigerian presidency has recently raised a fresh alarm over alleged plots to destabilize the country warning of forces of evil Determined to cause chaos and destruction, Dada Olusegun, the special advisor to President Bola Tunubu on social media, shared this concern through a statement on social media. He accused those behind plots of spreading falsehood and attempting to discredit government officials. As an example, Olushengu mentioned the false accusations of murder against Governor Zulam's son, who was later criticized for his English fluency when he denied the allegation. They want to burn the country down, Olushengu warned. Our fiduciary responsibility is to stop them. This warning follows an earlier alert by Bayo Onanoga, the special advisor to President Tunubu, on information. Onanoga alleged that supporters of Peter Obi, the 2023 Labour Party presidential candidate, are behind planned protests across the country. He claimed that the same individuals who instigated the destructive ANSAS protest in 2020 are planning to stage national protest under the guise of NBAD government and Tunubu must go. The presidency has labeled the protesters as anarchists and bad losers who are unwilling to wait for the next election in 2027. Onanoga warned that their actions amount to high treason and called on security agents to interrogate those involved. Thank you for listening to this news. You see, this Onanoga of a man we put Tunubu in a very big trouble. In fact, he don't put Tunubu for trouble already. He don't because this same thing he said is 
uh, what is uh, what made Peter V to um, you know find the federal government five billion naira damages and Tunubu started begging. Though at first he was bragging that he can pay that. That is if uh, if Peter V can stop the uh, the the uh, the protest. So my people, this is not this is no longer a joke thing. This now let us know what your opinion and what you think about this actually is. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons and swell as being buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos.